Hey everybody, it's Michael from The Loftus Party. Got a brand new video for you today. It's a weird one. It's about 1939. It's about FDR getting a letter from Albert Einstein and how America got the bomb. Kab okay, I found this out and I had to share it with you. It cracks me up and it's scary. It's a good story. So uh, in 1939, uh, FDR gets this letter signed by Albert Einstein and that started us on the the way to getting the atomic bomb. How this happened is insane. <laughs> okay, so flashback, 1938, Nazi Germany, okay? Nazis are everywhere. They're 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 feeling it, right? They're like via some after race and they're doing their uh Raiders of the Lost Ark stuff and trying to dig up artifacts. Meanwhile, uh there's this chemist, uh Otto Hahn. Otto Hahn is a really cool chemist. Uh, he's a good dude, and, and him and his buddies are just like putting chemicals together uh, and seeing what happens, right? Because it's 1938, and, and all this crap is new. They're like finding new elements every other day. So he's goofing off uh, with like radium and barium. Okay, there's some there's some radioactivity there, and, and they're putting them together, and all of a sudden, boom, there's like a reaction, and if you put uh, like radium and barium together with a couple of other wacky chemicals, uh, you get this new thing, and it behaves differently. It's like we've gotten to the nucleus, and we've had some kind of reaction. Bingy, fingy, finger. So what, so what Otto does, uh, he publishes his findings. In like uh, Nature Wungenschweigenspiegel, whatever the German version of like Nature magazine is. Now, uh, meantime, uh, these two American scientists uh, they read his findings and they they start doing literally the math. It's like wow, if you can get to the nucleus and do this stuff, you could really uh, you might be onto something here, something uh, that that might even be dangerous. And they're like, we should tell somebody about this. We should maybe tell the president. And they're like, well, who's gonna believe us? We're just two wacky scientists. Let's, ooh, I know what we'll do. We'll go to Albert Einstein and tell him about this. Because if you did this, uh, this, this nuclear chain reaction on a, on a big scale, it would be horrifying. So they go over to Albert Einstein's house in Long Island. Like, I didn't even know, like, Einstein lived in Long Island. I used to live in Long Island. I can't imagine Albert Einstein dealing with his Long Island neighbors. Hey, yo, Albert, hey, yo, Brainiac, what you doing, man? What you doing? Are you going fast in the speed of light? I'm kidding you, bro. You can't do that. You know that. So these two guys show up at Einstein's house. And they, and they sit him down and they're like, Einstein, uh, this uh, Otto Hahn dude in Germany, he's figured out a way to have a, like a, uh, change the, the nuclear friggin' boogie schmoogin and then it could be really bad. Uh, and you could have a bomb and it would be horrifying. <laughs> and Einstein's reaction, the actual quote, the actual quote from Einstein after these two dudes tell him that, he goes, I did not think of that. <laughs> like, I didn't that I, I did not think of that. How cool do you feel as a scientist when you turn Albert Einstein onto something? You're driving out to his house. You're like, well, sure, he's gonna know. He's the he's the smartest guy. He he figured out the space time thing and and the speed of light and the and you you tell him this and so, uh, uh, Einstein's like, I I did not know this. Those dudes were high fiving on the way home. I guarantee it. They were high fiving on the way home. Like we're the best. So anyway, uh, they decide to, to do the math on this. You'd need uranium, and you would need a boatload of uranium. You would need like tons of uranium to make a, a, a decent bomb. So uh, they're, they're a little worried about it because the Nazis, those, those, those dudes don't act slow. They've already cornered the market on uranium from like Czechoslovakia and other uranium mines. They're, they're going for it, but you would need Tons. You would need tons of uranium. And so everybody, they're like, well, let's hold off on the letter. It's not so bad. You couldn't, you can't fly like tons of uranium somewhere. You couldn't really make an effective weapon out of it. So they sit on the letter. And then like seven months later, <laughs> some douchebag scientist in England is like, I figured out a way to do it with 10 milligrams. You're like, shut up, dick. Shut up. What? What? It's just, you don't need 10 milligrams. You can make a little bomb. You can fly it over. It'd really be destructive with just 10 milligrams. That's all you need. Shut up. 
Like what a dick. What an absolute dick. That's like being in a hotel like full of cops and going, I brought cocaine. Do you guys want some coke? Anybody need a line? Like shut up, shut up. So then the cat's out of the bag. You only need 10 milligrams. British guy, and, and they don't even put his name in the Wikipedia. That's how mad they were at this dude. At Mr. You only need 10 milligrams. You're like, Dick, what are you doing? Well, I want to be famous too. I want to get in on the whole uranium bomb thing. Well, you know what? We're not going to put your name on the Wikipedia page. So, there. Uh, suck it, Chauncey. <laughs> so, now you only need 10 milligrams. These two scientists, uh, they sit down with uh, Einstein. They, they write a letter, they go over, and they send it to the president. And on October 11th, 1939, FDR gets the letter and immediately <laughs> goes into fast motion to get the bomb. And we did. But that's another story. And I think you guys know how that ends. So here's the moral. Be those two scientists in your life, in, in, in your job, whatever you're doing. If you think of something, don't keep it a secret. You might assume, oh, everybody else knows. I'm not the smartest guy in here. Einstein's probably already figured it out. No. You might have an awesome idea and tell somebody and they will go, huh, I did not think of that. So there you go. Be an Einstein, bitches. I love you and I love history. I'll talk to you later.